Hi, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, I'm Amy and I'm a full-time reseller. And today I am on my way to the Grand Ronde River and I'm stopping in Clarkston, Washington and Lewiston, Idaho to do some thrifting, hopefully to offset my gas costs and um, make a little money. So right now I'm getting ready to head into St. Vincent de Paul in Clarkston. Uh, wish me luck. Heading into St. Vincent de Paul. I always have good luck here, so hopefully I do this time too.
Hi there, I'm back from my trip to the Grand Ronde River and I'm here at home with my uh, finds that I picked up. And we have a special guest here joining, joining us. This is T-Bird. Uh, she's a blue and gold macaw and um, hope you can get some entertainment out of her. We'll see how long she lasts. Uh, she does have a short attention span, so. Um, my goal on this trip was to see if I could pay for uh, the cost of gas and food and whatnot uh, by thrifting on the way to our destination. So uh, I did achieve that goal. I spent $131 on these items. Uh, I have a projected sales conservatively of $675 and um, that would equal out to $544 in profit before fees. So um, yeah, it's just kind of a fun way to offset costs of um, small trips that you take and um, find some fun stuff to make money on. So let's get started with the haul. So I'm gonna start off with belts, which as I've mentioned in another video, I love picking up belts. Um, they're always a good seller for me and you can find them for reasonable prices. Um, typically I list belts between um, 30 and $39. So the first one here is this gold uh, woven braided belt with a gold buckle. Typically I like to pick up leather belts, um, but this one was a good size, it's an XXL and I thought it um, was a fun style. So I'll probably list that one closer to 30 or 35. Next up, this uh, really great Western belt uh, with some braided uh, and conch details and this wagon belt buckle. Um, this is genuine leather and it's size 32. This is also this was by, oh, this is by Nakona. So I'll list this at about 35, or sorry, 39. And I did pay on average about $2.50 each for the belts. What do you think about this belt, T-Bird? She's not sure, okay. Uh, like I said, that's a men's size 32. Next up, I got this vintage uh, genuine snakeskin and leather belt. And it does have a little um, peeling, but um, I use a flexible fabric glue to um, fix minor flaws like that. And um, it holds up really well and works really well. And this is by Justin and it's a size 28. I'll also list that one at $39. Um, this is a fossil belt that's woven leather and it kind of has a ditzy hippie floral pattern. And it is a size medium. Next up, I thought this was an interesting piece, all leather um, with crosses on it and a silver tone buckle. Um, this is genuine leather and it is a size small. I would say probably a men's size small. And I'll probably list that at about $39. Next up, I thought this was a fun, fun piece. Um, braided woven leather in multicolor. It has a white buckle. And this is also a size XXL. Oh, it doesn't look like you're gonna be able to see that. I'll probably list that one at about 35. And this next one I picked up because the buckle was really interesting, kind of a wishbone um, style in silver, but it is a uh, genuine leather, um, pardon the interruption there, um, genuine suede leather belt. It's a very dark navy color. And this one doesn't have a size on it, but I'd estimate it as a uh, women's size small. Uh, 
I don't know how this is gonna work. This is my first time filming with her. <laughs> um, next up is just this plain white leather belt with a gold tone round buckle. Um, but it is vintage and it's genuine leather. I don't know if you can see that. And it's marked a size large, but um, you know, I guess it's probably more like a modern medium. Next up is this interesting chain belt with kind of a mosaic wrap or mosaic um, rock. What am I thinking here? Um, applique in there. I'm not sure how old this is, but it has a vintage vibe to it, so I thought that was pretty cool. Um, also not sure on the size, but I guess it's pretty open sizing. Um, and I'll list that at 39. And next up, let's move to clothing. So I picked up this um, Harley Davidson turtleneck sweater. And I paid a dollar eighty for this. And this won't be big money, but I'll hope for twenty five or thirty dollars for that. And it is a women's size uh, medium. Okay, and next up some shoes. These were an interesting find. They have a real expensive feel and look to them. And um, they're called Walkover and they're made in USA, which I always like. Um, on the inside, it also says Walkover Vintage. And these are a size uh, seven and a half. Just really in excellent condition and nice quality. And I think the boots here were um, about $8, so not too bad. I'll hope to get um, 40 to 50 for those. What do you think about those, T-Bird? You like those? And at the same thrift store, I got these great cowboy boots. Um, in reptile, I believe this is iguana. And these are vintage men's, of course. And um, I think these were a size 13, uh, maybe, but wow. overall nice condition for vintage cowboy boots. There's the other one. Okay, and let's do a couple of home goods. So I picked up this kind of mid-century boho um, footed trivet. I think it would be great in the kitchen or you could use it um, to put under a plant. And I paid $5 for this. And I'll, you know, hope to get between 30 and 40, just kind of a unique piece. And then next up, I got this set of um, brass cranes. And these, do you like these? Are these pretty? Oh, these pretty? These are pretty saturated, so I won't always pick these up, but um, I don't often see these two little guys. And it was only $3.80 for the set. So I hope to get, you know, somewhere around 40 for those for that set put those down and then this is probably my most exciting uh pickup it is this fantastic vintage i might have to stand up for this um sherpa sheepskin suede leather coat uh, made in Argentina and the really cool part is that it's fully lined in um, cowhide so like I said I did pay up for this um, I paid $55 but I'm hoping to get between 150 and 200 for this piece 
Um, it, it may take a while to sell, but I'm okay with um, waiting a little bit for unique vintage items. I don't have trouble um, with that because, you know, someone's going to just be searching for this and be thrilled. Um, unfortunately, I haven't, I haven't measured this yet, so I'm not sure on sizing, but I would estimate kind of like a, a men's medium to large on that. So next up, a couple handbags. Um, the handbags at this thrift store were just $3, so I wouldn't have normally picked up this brand, um, but you know, there's a lot of dog lovers out there, and this kind of looked like a Dotson or a um, Basset Hound. And so I went ahead and got it just for the fun novelty of it. And um, I hope to get about 25 for this. And next up, I picked up this American Leather Co. crossbody bag. Um, the leather on these pieces is just super nice and they have a following. Um, when I've list these in the past, they sell pretty quick. Uh, it has the built-in wallet there. Again, this was just $3 and, and with the neutral colors, I think it can be worn all seasons. And I'll expect maybe around 40 for this piece. And then next up, I was kind of on the fence about these because they're out of season, but they're beautiful Sherpa lined uh, boots and they are by Rockport. And um, they were having a sale and I think their boots were $5. Um, so just for a good quality item, I couldn't pass these up. So hopefully that wasn't a mistake. And I also picked up another pair of cowboy boots. I love to pick up men's and women's vintage or unique cowboy boots because there's always, um, you know, a market for these. Um, they're trendy right now, but then they're also timeless. So I paid $8.88 for these. So that's a pretty good find. And the next few things. I'm not sure if I should have got them or not, um, but I, I think I think I should be able to make some money on them. This is a vintage Wilson's uh, full leather um, briefcase. It is kind of scratched up and distressed, but it was only four dollars, and um, I don't have any trouble selling distressed items. I find that um, people actually I think they're kind of looking for them. So hopefully that's the case for this too, and I can get, you know, 40, around $40 for it, so. Um, and then this piece is a Dunian Burke um, leather and kind of thick canvas uh, backpack. I liked kind of the contrast of the leather um, and again, I thought this would be great for all seasons and, um, you know, durable, whatnot. And that was only $6. And that's it. That's all I have. So um, I hope you liked this kind of idea of uh, trying to thrift your way on vacation to uh, pay for fun things to do with your friends and family. And um, I hope T-Bird wasn't too much of a distraction. She kind of was for me, but it's, it's something fun and different. And um, I think that's all. I hope you enjoyed this kind of mix of thrifting and travel vlog um, haul. So um, if you wouldn't mind, I'd certainly appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button down below. Uh, give this uh, video a like and a comment. That really helps me out. And I'll see you next time. Thanks a lot for tuning in.